guys, it's Shala from Crafting Through the Chaos of Life. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I am glad that you guys are here today. I want to say a great big special thank you to all my new subscribers. There's been a bunch of new people who have subscribed, so thank you so very much. And as well as to my existing subscribers, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. Uh, today I am in need of making a bunch of ephemera and I have all these printed papers just kind of, you know, of course I fell in love with them, I printed them out. Now I need to use them and I think I'm going to make some pockets out of them that I can attach to a page that you can then flip out. Um, I think this was an idea uh, originally that I saw over on Roxy Creations. Uh, I think it was one of her weekly challenges way back. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go. So uh, there's really not much you need. You don't need a scoreboard. Um, however, I'm going to be using one just because uh, I like to make sure my folds are actually straight because um, I'm not very good at uh, folding straight to tell you the truth. Um, so yeah, you might need a scoreboard and glue. That's pretty much all we're going to need. And then we're going to make a whole bunch of bases and then we'll see if we can um, decorate some if we need to. I have some various um, different types of weights of pages too. These ones are almost, I feel like they're on like a almost more of a card stock and then um, then the rest are on my, um, uh, I'm saying I'm a lot, sorry, the uh, paper that I like to print my pages on, which is, oh, I don't even remember what it is. It's just a, a package that I get at Staples, but it's a nice white and it's a smooth type of paper. I'll try and see if I can link it down below or remember. I know I've mentioned it on my previous videos, but let's get started. So this one's really catching my eye. I think this would be a really great base. It would be fun uh, to even decorate more on top. So <clears throat> the idea is that we're going to kind of fold these over and then have a hinge and then we can actually glue the hinge onto a page and then we'll flip out of the page of our journal. That's kind of the goal and I'll show one here to you. I didn't go ahead and make a prototype because I thought let's just do it together. Why not? So I'm going to do a half an inch score line on the left here. So most of my journals are um, regular eight and a half by 11 size. These ones are just a little bit smaller because they, the ed white edges were cut off. I can't figure out how y'all get your um, images to print on the full piece of paper. Like I always have a border no matter what. And I don't know what I have a brother laser jet printer. It's pretty fancy. And I even try going borderless and all that. I don't know. It doesn't work for me. So um, I always have to take a border off. So I'm going to do a half an inch for the um, attachment for the flip. So go ahead and score that. And then let's fold that over. So then that's going to, do I have a, let me just pull out a pre-folded page here. <clears throat> I just have some of my regular papers that I kind of pre-fold and have ready to go. So this is just your standard eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So this will actually go say on the page like this. And then we can miter the corners and make it look prettier if we want. We can put lace over top to cover it. And then on this side is where our pocket would fold out. So I then want to, I think I want to do this uh, same um, fold on this side to create a bit of a, a gusset just so the pocket opens a little bit wider. Otherwise, if we fold it over and glue straight down, it's going to be a really kind of tough pocket to get things in and out of. Um, and by having, like if we added a little gusset, it would just let it open up a bit more, if that makes sense. So follow me for, <laughs> for what I mean here. And so I'm going to do an, yeah, another half an inch on this side. And we'll fold that over like so. I got my bone folder here. And then this will just simply fold all the way over to the other fold line of our gusset. And then this is where I get nervous because I don't necessarily always get it straight. But 
let's just go for it. It's only paper. I just remind myself it's pretty paper. <laughs> it really is. And I don't want to mess it up, but it is only paper. Worst case scenario, I can go through my files and see if I can find it and print it again. Lord knows I've got a ton of files. Okay, so that basically will then hinge like on a page like this. Do, do, do. And then you can open up your page. And then this is the pocket that will flip out like that. Okay, so I need to put like a thumb notch and then glue it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I hope you're all doing well. I know I've kind of been off the grid a bit lately. Things are just busy and actually they are going to get busier as I have. Um, works crazy because I have a, um, one of my lawyers has a trial coming up in December and <clears throat> lots to do for that, right? So I'm not sure, you know, if I'll have to maybe work late. Um, I worked really late last night trying to make sure I was getting things on the go for, for him. It's always a big job trial. Don't do it very often with what we do with personal injury, but every now and then, oops, I want to open that up a bit because now I gotta think here. I mean, it doesn't matter. I want it to go this way. Sorry, I want it to go this way. So I need to glue on the bottom too. So I got talking and I was forgetting what I was doing. So we'll glue here. Okay. So yeah, um, trials just, you know, a lot of work, lots of printing to be done because I mean, the nice thing with uh, COVID was everything kind of really pushed everybody to go digital. So we haven't really had to print as much as we usually do for files because everything's gone digital. But for trial, you have to print. So there'll be a lot of binders to prepare for that. And it just makes my heart ache to, <laughs> to uh, you know, use up all that paper and, you know, Unfortunately, due to confidentiality reasons, it's not like I can actually take that paper when the file is done and recycle it and use it for, you know, my things because it has confidential names on it. It has to go and be shredded. So I can't take any paper from work that has a client's name on it for confidentiality reasons, which is completely understandable. So, okay, so there's the top. And now let's just cut our thumb notch in there. I turned my hair on because it was pretty cool in here and now I'm starting to have a hot flash. I always get so nervous right before I punch these. I want to make sure it's straight. But... So yeah, there we go. We've got a really cool little pocket that will go on our page. I am going to miter the corners because I'm that type of girl. So there, yeah, that goes on there. And then it just flips open and we could even put another pocket on here and have stuff in it. So yeah, that's kind of my goal is just to get a bunch of these made so that I have them in my stash and it's like ready ephemera bits to add to a journal and then you just decorate them to go with whatever, <clears throat> excuse me, theme that you're working on. So one down and we are only eight minutes in. That's pretty good. Look at me. I just can't stop myself. I've got to ink because look at that. Doesn't that look so nice? All inked up now. Look at that. Pretty. Okay, I'll ink this one just to satisfy my own urge here and then I'll resist on the other ones. I'll ink them when I go to use them. But yeah, this is just such a great, oops, a great way to kind of use up some papers that you may have printed or like or maybe you have leftover pages from kits um, you don't even have to have printables you, you do this with your scrapbook paper um, or even like um, scrapbook paper that you're maybe not necessarily overly fond of because then you can totally collage over top of that with different papers right and then it's you know you're using up that maybe less desirable paper but you're still getting a great piece of ephemera out of it 
So there is that. Okay, yeah. So there. Let's see how many we can kind of make here. And then we'll decorate one. I am working on... Working on... I printed out... Um, some papers from a kit. Um, what's it called? Sorry. I'll show you. Just because I'm kind of excited. Oops. Kind of excited about it. <clears throat> so I've had this this little kind of book thing. Um, it originally had um, a like a little plastic thing inside of it, so you could put something in it. It was like a box. Um, but I didn't, well, I didn't want the little plastic box. I wanted to use this as a journal cover. So I ripped that out. Um, as you can see, originally it was all black. I ripped that plastic piece out. And then this was glued down underneath the plastic. So I kind of had to, in order to get, I covered up the ripped inside pages, right? I made new um, cover sheets. And then I made a spine because I don't want to sew through here because it says spell book. So I created, um, what do you call this? Like a little spine template. I'll sew my signatures into here and then s glue all of that down. So it's a hidden spine. That's what it's called, a hidden spine. Um, so, and then I got to think of, cause this is kind of all gluey and sticky. It's kind of stuck together. I'm going to put like a charm or something over top of this to kind of cover that. Um, yeah, and I'm going to make a little fun book of spells journal and then I have like lifetime oh, I got years ago like two years ago it's got to be, well I know it's over a year because I haven't bought anything but um and I haven't bought anything this year but I bought like lifetime subscriptions on Etsy so that means I get all of their digitals plus any new ones um and this was Raven goodness what's it called I just wrote it down and I don't know what I did with my paper. Um, oh, here they are. It is Raven Printable Designs. Um, so just look on Etsy. There's a whole bunch of shops that do this where they do like um, f uh, full shop memberships or whatever. And so you pay a one-time fee. I think like I paid $40 and now I get all the digitals. And this Raven Printable Designs, I'm not affiliated with them at all but gorgeous work as well. Um, and so I printed out the apothecary kit and the apothecary cabinets, um, just some of the pages. So this is kind of, this is the, I think the cabinets. That goes great. And then this is the apothecary kit or some of the pages of the apothecary kit. These here, isn't that look cool? Love, love, love. So yeah, they're just, They're, they're two different kits, but I'm going to put them together. And then I just have, you know, my little um, signatures kind of ready to go. This one, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because it's the only light one. I didn't print all of the pages, just some of them, but I've got two signatures that I'm going to go in here. So that's fun. So I need some, um, oh, of course, this might be a bit big. Ooh, just perfect. But I need some pieces of ephemera to go in there, long story short. So yeah, that's kind of worked on that earlier today. Um, definitely check out that shop. It, they've got some great digitals, just gorgeous. I, and I would recommend going with the, um, the full shop kit, right? Like the bundle or whatever it is, the full access. Okay, so let's keep going here. I'm gonna do our half. And then we'll do our half again. And you can do these any sizes. You can cut them down. You don't have to be like the full page height. Um, I just want to make some bigger ones and some smaller ones. I think that would be, would be fun to do. Okay. See, so we've got Halloween around the corner. Oh, do I have my thing down here? No, I don't. I did a paper mache head of um, Mort from Madagascar, and my girlfriend is going as King Julian. It's a lot of fun. I love Halloween. Although this year we're not decorating our house. We usually go really big and decorate. 
with a whole bunch of um, blow ups and I do, um, I usually do a video projection out our front window, but it just, it snowed so much and it's kind of cold and you know, it's a lot of work for my husband to, you know, put them all up and take them all down. So we decided this year we're not going to decorate. We're just going to just enjoy the spirit of Halloween as it, as everybody else usually does. We have a neighbor around the corner from us who has like a billion blow ups. Like and when I say a billion, like I totally mean it. He's probably got 60 that he puts on his lawn. Like, and they're, they're insane. Oh, I did it again. I forgot to glue the bottom. Got talking. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll let him have the, have all the glory. He collects for the food bank, which is really nice. So we'll just take it easy this year. And I started my Christmas shopping, which I'm so excited about too, because I'm never usually on top of it, but I've got a couple things purchased. So that's nice. Okay. That looks good. These are so simple to make you guys. You could knock off a ton if you weren't gib gabbing like I am, but I'll do some that fold the other way too. So they're not always on the same kind of side of the page, you know? There, there's another one. Well, actually this one will end up going on the other side, right? Is this one, yep. This one folds this way and this one folds the other way. Yay. Okay, so we got two pockets done. Well, let's keep going. <clears throat> let's maybe get... This one's got sewing machines on it. That's kind of cute. I know I wanted to do a sewing journal. Our craft fair is coming up and... I don't know, I've got a few things, but not as much as I ideally would like, so... The table will probably be mostly my mom's slippers and her quilt stuff, which is good. Good to get her stuff all, all sold there. Okay, so for this one, I wanna make sure that I'm gluing the bottom properly because we don't want upside down sewing machines. That would kind of be silly. I'll do that about there. <clears throat> still kind of, pardon me, <clears throat> still kind of struggling with this cold that I had. It started out flu-like and then turned into like this terrible chest cold. Okay, I'm gonna remember to do the bottom this time. I hate being sick. Ugh. Loathe it. I don't like not being able to breathe. And, and I find that with this one that I had, the afternoons, like starting about two o'clock in the afternoon and then all through the evening was like at my worst, was when I felt my worst, which is terrible for sleeping. Okay. This one, this one's so cute. Yeah, I really gotta do a sewing journal now. I've got the pocket, now I just need to do the journal. Well, this one's sewing themed as well. It's got little spools of thread. So whatever journal I do, I'm gonna have to have these two pockets in it. I think, I think. There's so many. Do you guys have like a long list of stuff that you wanna, or a long list of journals you wanna do? I have a ton. I still wanna do another Alice in Wonderland. I want to do an Oriental or Asian inspired one. I have some great papers that I purchased eons ago that I should probably use up. And I wanna do a fishing one. Some papers for that. I'm just kind of like an eclectic one. I like the eclectic ones too, like a journal that doesn't necessarily have a theme. You just kind of use whatever papers you have and decorate with, you know, whatever ephemera you want. Those are 
probably my favorite to do because it's less stress. You don't have to overthink about making sure things kind of all match. And they really, I mean, you don't necessarily want everything to all match either. It's nice having the differences. Yeah, these are so quick to make. You can even do these with book page too. And then just decorate the book page. But I had all this paper that I needed to use up. So I'll get it made into something because it's just sitting in my drawer, not doing a thing. So I've decided, I think I'm going to bundle up some packages of, <clears throat> excuse me, of the, um, what am I trying to think of here? Uh, fabric samples from the upholstery sample books that I have. I think I want to cut this one to be a little smaller. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to bundle up some of those and uh, maybe do a giveaway to you guys and then maybe put some on my Kofi site. Um, Kofi, Kofi. Does anybody really know how to say that? Is it coffee, Kofi, uh, Kofi? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let's do five and a half inches tall. Don't really know how to say it. Let's see this we can then make a belly band out of. I don't know how to say it, but I find that they're a lot better, like, creator-wise to post on than Etsy. Etsy, there's, like, so many things that you have to enter, and it's just, it's really time-consuming to enter things on Etsy. And, you know, the listing price keeps going up, too, so there's that. And you don't necessarily have all that to do on the Kofi site. It's a little less intense to get your stuff on there. Okay, I want to do the flap on, these are just tiny roses. I guess it doesn't matter really what, let's do it this way. I don't think I have one done this way for a while. So yeah, all different sizes of these. And that is not straight. There is something definitely amiss here that is not straight and it's not lining up. Let's try this again. Five and a half. Yeah, I didn't, didn't have it straight there at all. See, it's all cotty wonkis. Let's try and straighten this bad boy out. There we go. That should fold better now. My tilty wobbly world. Which way do you guys want to go? This way. This is the way we said, right? Okay. I have been watching um, kind of my my go-to people to watch on on uh, what do I want to say on YouTube. Why is this not going to line up nicely now? Is that because now my scoring is crooked? Because I had to straighten it out. Um, yeah, uh, so I've been watching like uh, Gail Gastonelli. I like to watch Gail. Um, and she is into full-fledged Christmas. And I just cannot get there. I'm not overly big on doing Christmas journals. I just feel like they're they're just very limited in the time that you can use them right like they're very um sorry i'm getting distracted 
they're just, you know, you can use them at Christmas. You can't use them all year. Whereas I think something that's more floral, um, you can use throughout the year. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. Why am I struggling so much? It's just not straight and it's bugging me. Like something's not straight. Something isn't working out. Okay, so that seems to be okay. What if we... Okay, that should be straight on that end. This should still be straight on this end too. But let's... Let's make it a thinner pocket. Let's cut this and then re... Do something else with that. I'm going to redo that. Oopsies. Uh... Da -da -da gusset or this little hinge thing. Maybe that'll work better. If all else fails, try again. <clears throat> Let's see if this works better. Sort of. Well, Good enough for the girls I know, I think. It'll be what it is. I don't think anyone's really gonna snake eye me for having a little bit of a wonky pocket, are they? And if they are, then they don't need to be my friend. We don't need to be friends then. Okay. Do do and glue that down. All right. Well, we've got a few made. What are we at here? We're about half hour in. So let's maybe start decorating some. Top of this one. Actually, I do want to do just a couple more. All right, I want to do a couple more of some of these. These are some receipt book printables. I can't remember where I got them, guys. Just look on Etsy. <laughs> um, yeah, let's do this one. Because I think it would be nice to, to have some different sized ones. Now this is just like copy paper. So this isn't going to be overly thick and heavy like the other ones are. The other ones definitely are a bit more sturdy. But that's okay. And that doesn't matter because we're going to fold those edges in. So I don't need to trim those. I just need to trim this. Okay, and then we will use this. So we're going to do half, and then we'll do half an inch on this side. Yeah, it's kind of nice to have these kind of more neutral type colors too, because then they you know, they tend to be able to go into more journals too. Now you could create, I guess, a bit of a gusset on the bottom if you wanted to. I'm not going to. I don't think I need to go to that much trouble. Let's go this way. This is nice. Ooh, that's a nice tall one. Ooh, is that going to be too tall for a journal? I might actually cut that one in half right there and make two smaller ones. Let's do that. So I think that's just going to be too tall because this is, I guess not, but I still want to cut it down because then it gives me more pockets. So let's cut. 
cut it right about here. Yeah. We need pockets of all different sizes to keep things interesting. So this one we can go this way. And this one we can go this way. Just as long as we remember to glue the bottom properly, we're all good. Yeah, those are cute. Okay. Yeah, they just do not take long to put together, which is nice. I haven't been keeping up with Roxy's weekly challenge. It's definitely something that I want to aim to do for next year. I just think that if you have, I don't think I, for me anyways, I know that if I already have pre-made ephemera, uh, the journals are just so much easier to put together. You're not like having to create ephemera for a journal. You're literally just, you know, making a journal and then um, popping the ephemera in. So that is kind of my goal for next year, which I can't even believe how quickly this year is going. I can't believe I'm already thinking about 2024, but there I am thinking about it. And that's kind of like the nature of what I do too. I'm always like booking in advance for stuff. So I'm always thinking ahead. Okay, so this one, I'm going to see if I can punch both of these at the same time. Like this. I don't want to take off too big of a thing for these, but a thing, you know what I mean, not a thing. I should probably speak better English. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, these are cute. I like these. So what have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we've got seven. That's great. And um, this we'll just use for something else. Okay. So let's think about, let's decorate this one. This was our first one. Let's put the pin back in our glue. Okay, so I think I'm going to pull my rolly cart over because it's got all my drawers of scrap pieces. I think I need to tighten the screws on it. Some German book page. Our dictionary page. Could do some dictionary page. And like something big. I don't know if I have big flowers. Um, I don't have big flowers, but I was got some little bird books here that have big birds on them. Not big bird from Sesame Street, but like these two, like look at these. Bought these and just been hanging around. Like look, look at these big birds. Put, use something like that in there. That's, maybe there's an owl or something. Oh, look at that guy. He might be nice on there. Where did my pocket go? Would he be nice on there? Yes, I think he would be a long-eared owl. Okay. Or a black grouse. I like the owl better. So let's just rip this page out. Good old Reader's Digest Book of British Birds. Revised edition. And I got it from, oh, I got it from the good old Velu Village for $5.49. So yeah, I'll get a lot of, a lot of use out of this book. Look, oh, look at all these beautiful birds. Lots and lots of birds. And sometimes you need bigger things, right? Ooh, that is like a big guy. He's huge. I don't know where I'd use him, but okay. Enough yakking, because we got to fussy cut this owl out. And... 
I'll just kind of go around like this. We're just kind of doing more like kiss cutting. So I'm not like getting right next to the edge of the image. I'm kind of keeping a bit of that white border. Whereas fussy cutting versus kiss cutting, I think fussy cutting you like cut right close to that, that um, edge of the image. So you don't have that white border. I really want to as well start using my, I have a silhouette cutting machine and I have a, also I have a brother scan and cut. I need to use those more. Um, there's some great, great um, digital cut files that I have already like in my library that I downloaded years ago when I was using them for like card making. But I think I could totally like take a look and use some of that as well for journals, for sure. I want to get a little bit closer than that. Long-eared owl. Love me some owls. I have owls all over my house. <laughs> well, mainly on my main level, kitchen kind of area. What are you guys into? Is there something that you kind of collect? Are you collectors of certain things? I remember growing up, my grandma had a neighbor who collected elephants. She had all these little elephants everywhere. It was so cool going over to her house and seeing all of them. Okay, there we go. We got Mr. Owl all fussy cut out. Oh yeah, he's going to be... He's going to be beautiful on there, isn't he? I think we need something in the back, but I'm not sure if it's necessarily text that we need. Let me dull down these white edges just a tad. I mean, we only might only get one decorated together, but you guys will get the idea. You saw how easy it was to put those pockets together, right? Okay, well, let's try. Do, do, do. Um, let's see. That's going to be too big. not actually bad. Okay. Um, what else do we need? Maybe some lace or something? Maybe we'd like a little bit of lace on there. I have this wide stuff that is kind of pretty. Not kind of, it is pretty. What if... I cut a piece of that, maybe about there. This is my mom's <clears throat> stash of lace that she, like, look at this. Gorgeous. Yes, she's given me her lace boxes, which I'm so very lucky. Thank you, Mama Bear. Maybe we want that on there. And then we can put our owl. Actually, this owl reminds me of Wise Old Owl from Mr. Dress Up. <laughs> Do you guys remember that show? I love Mr. Dress Up. Watch him all the time. Okay. Do that or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I like the idea of the lace. But I'm wondering if it just blends too much. Mm. I don't know. I should just go with it. I think it'll be fine. 
this is where you can like really overthink things and this is where I get stuck on like oh is it gonna look good but you know what don't overthink it just glue it down and then you're gonna come back later and you can be like hey that actually is pretty cool give yourself some time away from it come back and it'll it'll look good maybe like that Okay, so I need to glue the lace down first, and then I like to use Fabri-Tac for that. And then this is just a, a top, a, knitting, a silicone knitting needle topper thing. That's what I use for my, for my Fabri-Tac to, instead of a pin, Some sort of glue goober going on though. We don't want that. Okay. Glue, 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 glue. Want to make sure it's going to be stuck down nicely on the edges. Don't want it lifting up. And let's put that about there. I know my fingers are kind of gluey together. I have, this is what I'm looking for, just to press this down. This literally is like, I think this was like from the top of a husky card, a loyalty card. I just save the plastic because it's great for this sort of thing. And you don't get your fingers all sticky. Because I do not, believe it or not, like getting my fingers all sticky, which is kind of funny because I like to create. Do that there. Okay. We'll put him down. I think I'm just going to stick with the Fabri-Tac just because it's going over top of that lace. Use whatever glue works for you. A lot of people really just Oops, just really use their glue stick, their uhu, and it seems to stick. I have trust issues, so I like to, you know, go a little bit overboard on, on my glue. And I know it's not going to come up. Okay. Oh, I like him. But I think I have another idea of something I want to do. So let's just put this down because I saw it earlier when I was mucking about in my room here when my, my friend Rosanna came over today and we were printing off, hi Rosanna, uh, printing off some things for her for, because she's doing the craft fair as well. And so she makes these awesome gnomes out of um, recycled old Christmas trees. Okay, so I'm just looking and I'm kind of limited with my microphone connected to me. Okay. Sorry, I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm looking for... These might work. I was looking for... I have these gold-like little... Oh, there's the... They're gold pearls. I've got the pearl pearls. But maybe... I can do some of those on there. That might be nice. I don't know what I did with my gold gold ones. Somewhere in all of this mess. I have a scrap rack. I don't know, have you guys ever heard of that? What a scrap rack is? It's basically like big binders that are kind of, it's like a big fold out metal binder holder and they have these the binder spines that are velcro and you can stick them on and have different pages where you keep your ephemera bits google scrap rack if you don't know what that is um so i just kind of have them tucked in there but uh, i think i took them out and didn't put them away and that's probably why i can't find them it's usually what happens i really need to do a tidy in here in the worst way, but we could use some of these.
I'm going to use three of those. I don't think I'm going to use these. These are just going to come right off. These were just from, I'm sure, the dollar store. That's usually where I get things. Do something like that. But I kind of like it down here. So if I kind of like it down here, then that's what I'm going to do is kind of put it down there. We could also do a word. There's something or a label right here. Let's get these down and then we'll think about the label. Um, do I want to use Fabri-Tac or Art Glitter Glue? Let's try Art Glitter Glue. I have to use a big glob. Could also use um, what's it called? Glossy accents, which I might have to do. So I'm not sure this is going to stick like I want it to. We'll give it a try. We'll hold it for a minute, and if not, then we'll just with our art glitter glue yep I think we need to, or not art glitter um, glossy accents so I have a non stainless steel pen pin in my glossy accents so my glossy accents looks all gross because the rust but that doesn't bother me especially if I'm using or doing like vintage type stuff okay let's try that I think that'll hold a bit better. There's almost like a little bit of a concave in here, so I gotta fill it up with the glue. Am I getting that somewhat straight? Pop that back on there. Yeah, I think this will work. Glossy Accents works really well for adhering gems and stuff. Okay, is that somewhat, nope, let's move you over a bit. Okay, those are definitely going to take some time to, oh yeah, some time to glue. Okay, in the meantime, while we wait, well, this pin is definitely like just dying a slow death here. Okay, let's take a look at our labels and see what we could have there. Oh, come on and stick. Might have to get the old glue gun out too. That might be a possibility as well. <clears throat> All right. On top of my rolly cart, I have my little storage bins for these things. Those are definitions. And these are labels. So let's see. Because I think I have some, yeah, these are Tracy Fox labels in here or these are some little dictionary labels lemon mushroom mug mirror it's kind of hoping i had oh but okay that says fern does it really matter what it says or are we just looking for the aesthetics of it there's that too Pollinate, Joy, Inspire. Some of these are Tracy Fox. Some of these are not. Yeah, nature definition labels are some of them in here. Not all of them. These are the ones that are Tracy Fox ones. Heath. Oh, branch. Yeah, because he's sitting on a branch. Why not? Let's go with that because otherwise we could be here forever overthinking this whole situation. And we don't need to do that. We just need to get it down, get it done, and move on. Not that we shouldn't take our time and enjoy the process, but we also don't want to 
be here forever and a day just decorating one. Do, 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 do. Okay. Yeah. I quite like that. Now, as long as these are going to glue down nicely. No, I don't think they are. Oh, I'll have to maybe pull out my glue gun or something. I'll give them a little more opportunity to, because glossy accents take some time to uh, set up there. So I should be more patient, really. I'm sure it'll work. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's take a look here. Um, maybe we can quickly decorate one more. Let's see. Let's put this away and put this guy over to the side. I think we could probably quickly decorate that. I think I want that. Ooh, let's use some William Morris paper on there. Could we do that? This little bird? We could. Um, what else could we put on there? Oh, I think these are all my, yeah, these are my words, my Tim Holtz words, receipt book, and a clock, and some fussy cuts. Hmm, not what I'm really going for. Or, you know, I haven't used my Tim Holtz people in a while. Maybe you could just pull out a little Tim Holtz person. We could put them on there. Um, and then I feel like I need some vintage book page for that though. Do, 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 do. I don't know, that kind of covers up all this goodness though, doesn't it? Okay, let's overthink this again and maybe something down there. What do we want down there? Something to ground them on. Like some kind of steampunky stuff, but that might be That'd be nice. I don't know. Let's just try it out. I could put I don't know you guys. This is where I just have to play around and see what I like. Definitely don't like that straight edge, so that's got to go. Maybe a little bit of an ink around it would help the situation. Um, yeah, I think I have to ink this just to get an idea of what we want to do here. I mean, that side is so cute too. We don't have to decorate both sides. We can just decorate one. Okay. I 
Yeah, I think that is kind of enough on that because I don't want to cover too, too much, but it needs, you know, just a little bit of a focal point. Just a little something. And we'll just use our art glitter glue. I like art glitter, oops, art glitter glue because it doesn't buckle the paper. Put that there. Do you guys need a little bit of inking? I mean, I don't want to make you look too dirty or anything, but maybe just a little bit of a light dusting couldn't hurt. Okay. And then maybe do we need a word or something? Because then that's the power of three things that we stuck on there. Maybe like a... I wish I had some vertical words. I do, I do, but I don't. I suppose I could create some. Oops, hello. What was that? Was that our motivation app? Oh, it is our motivation app. Let's take a look and see. Trust yourself. Oops, yeah, that's okay, we don't need that. Trust yourself, you've survived a lot and you'll still survive whatever is coming. Robert too. Well, there we go. There is our motivation for today. I love that app. Anyway, rise and shine, come what may, live every day with intention. I mean, that's a possibility. I'd have to, oops, cut it down, mind you. No rain, no flowers, family. I'm not really feeling that. Just you wait. Dance in the rain. Mm. Kind. Oh, let me tell you a story. I feel like we could work with that. Definitely need to straighten it out some. Because it looks like it was cut just little wonky and let's ink up our edges but I have to cut this down let me tell you a story I want to where scissors where'd you go there you are so I'm gonna cut it right here and then we'll just it's like it no one, no one will know that it was cut apart. Let me tell. Do let me tell you a story. Yes, liking that. Oh, hello, another motivation. Okay, we'll quickly look at another one. One day you will be proud you made it through this. Oh, well, thank you for all that motivation. <laughs> Apparently it's worried about me right now. I don't know. Okay. I want to put that over top of this writing because it's just a little too distracting for me to have both of those things. So we'll do that. And then that is pretty much our hour together, you guys. Time flies when you're having fun. That much I know. Okay, let me just do... I've lost my pin, but that's okay. I say that and now I'm like anxious to find it. Let's put this back in our scrap box. Let's put this back over here. And then we'll just kind of take a little peek at what we managed to accomplish. I mean, I'm pretty happy. We've got, what did we say, seven? Oh, there's my pin. Let's quickly put that in our glue, which is just all gross and goobered up. Oh, my nails are all vintaged up now too. Okay, so yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven made and two decorated. So that's not bad in an hour, right? Oh, and these are now sticking, which is good. So yeah, these came together really quickly. And so I'm obviously, I'm gonna put these in my 
uh, pocket ephemera little bin that I have and then I'll just decorate them as I need them for journals but then I have two that are already ready to go into a journal so that is a lot of fun well I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm so glad to be back and hanging out with you again I appreciate you all so very much I hope you have a fantastic day and PS I love you